Hi friends. You know, I want to share something with you. And I tried this the other night. I was in a parking lot. And this homeless kid came walking up to me. And I felt compelled to tell him a little story. And it worked better than I could even imagine. I said, son, do you realize your father is looking for you? Your father is a king. And you are royalty. Your father loves you so much. He asked me to come looking for you. When I saw you coming through the parking lot, I knew I had found you. You know, he loves you so much that he sent his son to the earth to live among us, to show us what he's like, what your dad is like, what your father is like, what the king of kings and the Lord of Lords is like. When his son was here, he died on a cross to take your punishment for sin so you didn't have to. Your father wants to reestablish his fatherly relationship with you. He told me you were separated at birth because of sin. And he's been looking for you for a long time. I want you to know your dad loves you, cares about you. He's a king. When your father is a king and he has a domain, he has an area, your father has the universe to take care of you. But you've got to be in, you've got to have a relationship with him. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about a relationship with your Heavenly Father. He loves you. If he didn't love you, he wouldn't have asked me. Look for my son. So I'm telling you, if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you bring that family relationship back together again. And God will take care of you. You no longer have to live in the pig pit. You can live in a palace with him. He'll take care of you. He'll love you. That's what he's there for. He just wants a relationship with you. Remember, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about a relationship with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Would you like to reestablish relationship with your father? All you have to do is repeat after me. And your kids will come together. Be your best friend as well as your father. Too. You'll come into the kingdom of God as a citizen of heaven. Jesus said, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. If you're sick, don't worry, there's no sickness in heaven. If you're poor, there's no poverty in heaven. A king is responsible for the welfare of his citizens. Your father will be, become responsible for your welfare. Repeat after me today. Reestablish that relationship. Say, Heavenly Father, forgive me of my sins, Lord. Come into my life. I want a relationship with you. I want to know you. 
I recognize Jesus Christ is Lord. And that he died on the cross for me. And he rose from the dead. And he sits at the right hand of the Father. Now, Jesus, I love you. Thank you for what you did for me. Father, thank you. I pray this in the most wonderful, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, we can make it all so complicated. It's just telling people about their father and how much he loves them. You know, I've tried a lot of techniques on a lot of different ways to reach people. You know, one guy he goes around telling people, hey, have you ever, uh, you ever committed adultery? See, you're an adulterer. Have you ever uh, stolen anything? See, you're a thief. He uses the Ten Commandments against people and say that's the way Jesus did it. No, he didn't. Showed love and compassion. That's all you need to do is show love and compassion. Tell someone, hey, did you know your dad's looking for you? They really? Say, yeah, he's the king. <laughs> you were born into royalty. Real simple. When I was at the bank the other day, I looked at the girl and I was almost finished. And I says, you know what? Your father's a king. That's all I said. She wasn't nice up until that point. I made her smile. I said, he's looking for you. She says, really? I said, yeah. His name is Jesus. And I walked away. But you plant seeds everywhere you go. You plant them. You plant them. She'll never forget me. How many people that day do you think told her your father's looking for her and he's a king? You know that, that young man who I met in a parking lot, 22 years old, living on the streets of Tempe, Phoenix area. He says, you know, Daryl, I've talked to a lot of people. He said, no one ever told me my father was a king. And that he is looking for me. I didn't know what to say to him. I just said he loves you. So let's not make it complicated to win the loss. Just tell him the truth. The Bible is about a king, his kingdom, and his royal family. You, son or daughter, of the king. If you lost that relationship due to sin, and God wants to reestablish that fatherly relationship with you. When you walk into the throne room of God, it tells you come boldly. Yeah, because you're going, going to your family's home. You're walking in where God sits on his throne. The king of the universe. You don't need an appointment. Walk in. Now me, I bow before him. I said, oh Lord, I've blown it. Father of sin, forgive me. It's just you will. you forgive you. Then you lay at his feet. He's sitting on the throne. Oh, Father, I love you. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy of glory. You just have a talk with your Father, the King. Just, just talk to him like you would with your earthly father. He loves you. And he wants that relationship. 
It wants that relationship reestablished. Your father is amazing. Down through the centuries, been looking for you. He looked for me, he found me. That boy said to me, he said, you know, Daryl, I, pray, I prayed with him. He said, you changed my life. I didn't know he was a king. No one's ever word, used that word. He said, I go to Salvation Army. I stay there now and then. I get kicked out because I mess up. I don't abide by their rules. They said, you made it simple. That's the whole idea, folks. Keep it simple. Don't get too complicated. Remember, that sinner might be having his best day in all eternity when you talk to him. Might be his last day. Our entire life and purpose is to represent the Father on earth. Be his hands and feet. Show people what the Father is like. He's wonderful. Marvelous. Glorious. He's our healer. He heals our life. But anyway, I just wanted to share that concept with you. Go out today. Go out tomorrow. Say to people, hey, you know what? My father's looking for you. He's a king. He loves you so much, he sent me to look for you. You know, they they won't get turned off. A lot of times people walk up to someone and they say, hey, do you know Jesus is your personal savior? Uh, doesn't work quite very well. When you say, you know, your father's looking for you, you make him. He's the king of kings. Lord of lords. Now listen. There's something God showed me. As I study and I prepare to take this message around the world. That you can be a citizen of heaven. And you have that kingdom of God living inside you and you can bring heaven down to earth. 